In this clip, we're going to be learning how to add light wrap to some of our composited elements. Okay, so a light wrap is a great node that you can use to composite elements onto a bright background to help make them feel a little bit more integrated. It's gonna take the luminance values of that background if you so designate it to. There's a few options where you could choose differently, but it's gonna take that light, so this kind of really bright area here in our sky, and then spill over onto our CG element. And it's also smart enough to recognize which areas of the background are brighter and where more light should be spilling, and which ones are darker, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and add some light wrap to our dog, because he really needs it a little more than the robot. Uh, the robot already has a lot of light wrap happening just naturally because of the way it was lit. Um, sometimes you're not so lucky. Like in the case of the dog, uh, it wasn't rendered with that in mind. It wasn't rendered at all. It's a real footage element. So we need to come in here and make some room. Now the light wrap should always be composited before you merge it into the rest of your shot. Um, so that is actually really helpful information to help us pick where we should be putting that. Now the basically the motion blur needs to come uh, after something like this light wrap. We would want that to be motion blurred also. So we can just come in here and kind of move all of this down. And then this area right in here is where we want to be adding our light wrap. So let's give a little more room here. Just kind of push that down. So the light wrap is gonna go right there. Let's go ahead and add it. I'll hit tab and type in light wrap. And if I just drop it on, it automatically puts the A pipe in place. And that's because the A pipe is for our foreground element, our, our dog. And then B is going to be for the background. So then you would take this B pipe and actually go hook it up to your background footage. So I go find, you know, lens distortion, that's where that's coming from, and plug that in. So now nothing major happens yet because the intensity is at zero. So if I kind of increase that, you can start to see this happen. And there's some really cool things that uh, can you can kind of play with here. You can do the enable or generate the wrap only. So that just shows what it looks like without the dog there. Um, if you disable the luminance based wrap, it's just basically going to wrap it all around no matter how much light is in the foreground. Now you can see why that's not helpful because we it actually makes him look less integrated to have that there. Um, and then you can also enable the glow, which kind of, if you've got something on almost a white background, that could be very helpful. Or if you're wanting it to look um, basically like an invert of the regular light wrap. So, um, you know, I like to increase the intensity a lot and then start to pull it back down, um, mostly by using this luma tolerance. So in my case, by increasing the luma tolerance, it's going to say, okay, these areas that are less luminant, let, we want less glow and we'll only keep it in the bright areas. So that's really helpful. So you can kind of go in and start to pull that away. And then you only have a really high level uh, intensity in those areas where you want it. And then you can kind of start to pull that back if you if you choose. Um, so I'm going to add a considerable amount because now I have it isolated so it's only happening on his head. And that really helps to make his dark little ear right here, which is a really thin uh, thing, feel more like it just blends in with the background and less like it's, you know, kind of having an issue with integrating into our shot. So that I think is looking great. Now let's do the same thing before the robot. So we're gonna add that right here. Um, let's do it right before our glint. So right in there after the pre-molt. So we'll just add another one drop that on there and hook the B up to the lens distortion. And, uh, you know, it kind of drives me crazy that these pipes just sort of have to cross over here, but there's not a really good way around it at this point based on how we've built our tree. Um, so again, let's come over to the robot. We'll increase the intensity considerably and then start to go into that Luma tolerance and increase there 
where now we're kind of just taking it away little by little so that we're only getting it in the really bright areas. Now you can see better on the robot because he's so much bigger how, you know, increasing the intensity and just turning up the luma tolerance might not be the best way to do it for these bigger objects. So I can come in here and, you know, turn turn that intensity down a little bit because it was pretty, pretty major. And then I can still come in and increase the luma tolerance more. And then the darker and darker areas are going to have less and less of a light wrap. So this is still a little bit much. I didn't really want any right there. So let's see what this looks like on the robot when I enable and disable it. Let's get in a little bit closer here. There we go. So you can kind of see how it's almost has this look of desaturating the image in the brightest places. Um, so it's a, it's a really subtle but nice little effect to add to your shot. Perfect. So let's go ahead and jump into our next clip where we're going to be talking about the creative grade you can add at the end of your comp to really start to pull everything together and give it that, that last bit of detail.